Hello, people, and today, um, welcome to this uh, Ro Roblox Studio tutorial. And today, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a sword. Yes, this sword right here. So, I'm gonna show you how to make this sword. It is really simple, and it's a really uh, kind of a advanced, a uh, complicated one. But no worries, this is gonna be a good one. So, hopefully, it will make your day better. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Correct. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to get this model that I have. So this is going to sword template. This is going to be linked in the description below to get this model if you don't know how to make an actual sword. So I'll just link that in the description below. And go to your toolbox, go to my models. And then now I have the template. This is a sword I made from Blender. First time making it right. Yeah, and it's super painful to add. So inside the sword we have is a handle, so it's a mesh. And then we got these equip, we got the slash, we got these two attachments, which is right up here and down there. And this is for making the trail. And this effect is gonna be uh, something new. This effect is a blood effect, so if you don't want to enable blood, uh, just uh, I'll tell you why. Because if you don't want to see blood, you may. Uh, Follow me until uh, you will see the blood effect. Let's go ahead and put this in the starter pack. Let's see if we're going to the sword and we're going to enable is the script. But before we do the script, we're going to need to do some uh, uh, important stuff. This will require a load of animations model that I'm going to put. I'll put the link in the description below. And you can see this is uh, my model right here. This is called the throw animation pack. I'll put the link in the description. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click using it and I'm going to select the rig. And as you can see, it has my animation right here. So yeah, let's go into the script and let's go ahead and make some variables. So let's go ahead and make the debounce, loco db equals false. Now we're going to make the can hit bounce. Yeah, I agree, can hit bounce. Uh, now we're going to get uh, two variables, loco idle. And local slash. So this one are going to be nil. And now let's go ahead and add some configuration. So I'm going to add some configure. So what I like to do is I like to say local on equals a table. And then we're going to say trade trail enabled. Enabled. And then we're going to add a, uh, a bool, which is going to add, say true. And then we're going to say a uh, blood effects equal true so this will enable blood but if you don't want blood just configure it to false but now we're going to stick on to the true now we're going to do the player equip so this one's going to be a equip function a script parent dot equip on connective function and i'm going to uh so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, enable the uh, the equip sound, so we say uh, script.parent.handle.equipped to on play. So we say uh, local humanoid equals script.parent.parent colon find first child colon humanoid. Then we're going to say if not it'll, then it'll equals humanoid colon load animation hold on script dot equipped and and then idle will play so, so what I mean so what the equip does so we're going to when it equips we're gonna send the equipped animation and then we're uh, loading up and then we're playing it now we're going to uh, make the activation for the sword. So we're going to say script dot parent dot activate on connect function. And I'm going to say if not db, then we're going to say db equals true. And we'll say if con dot uh, trail enabled is true, then we're going to say this script dot parent dot handle dot trail dot enabled equals true. And we're going to say this, we're going to copy the same thing, uh, but this time it's going to be different. So look at humanoid clone, screw the parent, the parent uh, like that. So we're going to say if not slash, 
then. So we're going to add another variable for this one. This one's going to say local random slash equals one. We're going to say if random slash equals one, then. And we're going to say slash equals. So I'm going to copy this part, but this time it's going to be different. Uh, I'm going to say slash one. And then we're going to say random slash equals random slash plus one. Then we're going to say the same thing, but this time we're going to say two slash two. And then this time we're going to put it addition to minus. Once we've done that, we're going to uh, play the animation, so slash clone play. And we're going to wait for about 0.2 seconds. This is some serious timing. Script.parent.handle.slash colon play. And wait for about 0.8 seconds. If slash, then we're going to say slash colon stop. And we're going to set it to nil. Now, what are we going to do is we're going to. Uh, Make the touch function, so we're gonna. Then what are we gonna do is we're gonna script dot parent dot dot unequip clone connect function, and then we're gonna say if it'll then. If it'll then idle will stop and then we're gonna do the same thing but this time we're gonna slap this time with the slash so if slash then slash will stop and that is all we have completed the whole server script code so as you can see I'm right here so I got this sword and it already equipped it so this is the stupidest equip it looks like you're Oh, then it's rising up. So, uh, I hope you make your equip animation doing well. But if I slash, it as you can see, it works. And it's also synced with the timing. So, if I go in here, try directly to this head. Bruh. So, I accidentally said parent R. But this time, I need to replace that with the T. So, sorry about that. Now, I got the sword. And now, it should slash. As you can see, oh my god, as you can see, as you can see it slashes, slashes, slashes very well. As you can see, it absolutely works. So yeah, that is all for today's video. If you have any concerns or, com or comments about my sword, uh, le please leave a comment below. Otherwise, uh, join my Discord server if you want to chat with me. I'll just uh, see every message you can see. But anyhow, uh, that is all for today. So if you absolutely like it, please make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And like it if you enjoy it. And uh, leave a comment and make sure you think it is helpful or not. And anyhow, uh, that is all for today. See you. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Peace out.